People in multiple states say they have received racist text messages since the election. Those messages indicate the receiver has been chosen to, quote, pick cotton at the nearest plantation. And now the FBI and other members of law enforcement are trying to tack, track down whoever is responsible. Fox 4's Sean Rabb in our newsroom with more. Sean. I can tell you the texts are continuing. I just received a message from someone who got a text 20 minutes ago. The shameful subject matter evoking emotion, not just for those who found them on their devices. Some in North Texas who got the text contacted the FBI, like the young lady who shared her story with us. I had just woken up when I like saw the text messages and I really didn't know what to say. I was kind of more so like astonished and also hurt. These are the text messages that pained Maya Thursday. We'll only use her first name. The 24 year old and who knows how many other black people across the country, college students, some older, and others, some as young as middle school age, saw on their phones Thursday. I wouldn't say I haven't really experienced racism, but I haven't really experienced racism like that in my face, getting called those type of names. The FBI says people receive the messages in at least 10 states, some with racial slurs, some with the name of the person connected to the phone number that got hit with the text. Maya, like others, has questions. For one, how did you get my information? The Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association says it's working to block the spam messages and the numbers they're coming from. So it looks like those numbers or the majority of the originating numbers come from a, uh, it's called a text call subscriber. Eric Asti is managing director at Apollo Cyber. He believes it's not a single person behind this. But rather individual or individuals or an organization using a service to send multiple messages out. So the next steps for law enforcement are to work with the service provider. So in this case, it looks like text now was involved. There may be others. And to see if there's any internal logging on the text now system that could tie or correlate the uh, the originators from that call to the the uh, the victims. This presidential like election has really divided us a lot. Um, after the results and whatnot, I did see a lot of division on Instagram. I don't feel like who's in office should give you the right to want to be racist or blankly just like nasty to other people. And while it's not known who, persons, group, or nation is behind the troublesome text, the purpose is to plant seeds that will grow into discord along political and racial lines in our country.